can make sure. I saw Zane was behind me. He's pretty aggressive, so I wanted to make sure he wasn't going to jump me at the line. And uh, next thing I know, I looked back, and uh, the two, I don't know what happened. I mean, unless I just formed a really big run on him, but I, I think he might have an issue. So uh, really unfortunate for Tricon and uh, my safe flight team. We had an okay truck today. We uh, kind of got behind on pit road and the sequence before that. So uh, if we still would have been up front, obviously that wouldn't have happened. But, you know, um, team effort, and we'll move on. Corey, tell us what happened on pit road from your perspective. Uh, just, uh, you know, with the, with the few only stops and you only being on pit road for like two seconds, it's... Um, it's, it's really hard to judge who's coming in, who's coming out, and uh, you know it's just communication thing between our team and the nine team, and uh, could have definitely been resolved in an easier way, but uh, that's how it goes sometimes. Well, Corey, you're doing a great job. You've got to be so optimistic about this 2023 season uh, and, and the fact that you're going to win a lot of races this year and run for the championship. Yeah, I mean, today sucks. I mean, it's definitely a bummer, but, um, you know, I definitely have a good team under me in Tricon, and uh, Scott Tavidelli, we're going to work it out and uh, move on and, and be better. Thanks for your time, Corey. We'll see you at Circuit of the Americas next week. All right, thank you. Turn left and right. Next up, that's next week, 1.30 Eastern, right here on FS1. Yeah, when you...